To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is the Pali Shah from Example. Welcome back to the next lesson in Indian Geography. In this lesson, we would be looking at the drainage system of India. Before getting into the topic, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So, let's get started. What is the drainage and how does this drainage system work in India and on such a large scale? Let us know more about this. The flow of water through well-defined channels and more is probably known as the drainage and the network of such channels in the form of the chain is known as the drainage system. Indian Drainage Pattern The drainage pattern of an area is basically the outcome of the geological time period, nature as well as the structure of rocks, topographic slope etc. of the particular area. A drainage pattern can be defined in the shadow of topographical features from which a stream gets runoff, flow through and groundwater flow which can be divided by topographic barriers are called watershed. A watershed can be defined as all of the stream tributaries that flow to some location along with the stream channel. A geometric arrangement of streams in a region is known as a drainage pattern. The factors controlling the pattern of the drainage in a region include the topography, slope, structural control and nature of rocks, tectonic activities, a supply of water and above all, the geological history of that particular region. Types of drainage patterns found in India Discordant drainage pattern A drainage pattern is described as discordant if it does not correlate to the topography and geology of the area. The discordant drainage patterns are classified further into the following. Antecedent or inconsequent drainage The rivers that existed before the upheel of the Himalayas and cut their courses southward by making gorges in the mountains are known as the antecedent rivers. The Indus, Satlej, Ganga, Suarju, which is also known as Kali, Arun River, which is a tributary of the Kosi River, Tista and Brahmaputra are some of the important antecedent rivers originating from beyond the Greater Himalayas. Consequent Rivers The rivers which flow the general direction of the slope are known as the consequent rivers. Most of the rivers of peninsular India are consequent rivers. For example, rivers like Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri descending from the western Ghats and flowing into the Bay of Bengal are some of the consequent rivers of peninsular India. Subsequent rivers A tributary stream that is eroded along the underlying belt of a non-resistant rock after the main drainage pattern which is consequent river has been established is known as a subsequent river. Due to the northward slope of the peninsular India towards the Great Plain, the rivers originating from the Vindhyan and Satpura ranges flow northward into the Ganga system. The Chambal, Sindh, Kent, Bitwa, Tons and Son meet the Yamuna and the Ganga at the right angles. The Superimposed or the Superinduced Drainage Pattern it is formed when a stream with a course of originally established over a cover of rock now removed by erosion so that the stream or the drainage system is independent of the newly exposed rocks and structures. The Damodar, the Chemba, the Banas and the rivers flowing at the Riva Plateau are some good examples of the superimposed drainage pattern. Dendritic River Drainage Pattern in dendritic river drainage pattern, the river flows through the slope of the drain. This pattern develops in a drain which has uniform lithology and where faulting and jointings are insignificant. The stream runs in all directions without a definite preference to any one particular region. The examples of dendritic pattern are Indus, Godavari, Mahanadi, Kaveri and Krishna. Rectangular River Drainage Pattern The drainage pattern marked by right angle bends and right angle junctions between the tributaries and the mainstream is known as the rectangular drainage. It differs from the trellis pattern in so far as it is more irregular and it has the tributary streams are neither as long nor parallel in trellis drainage. A typical example of this drainage pattern is found in Vindhyan mountains of India. The rivers provide in uniform resistance to erosion and develops on the strong joint rocky terrain. Trellis River Drainage Pattern 
This pattern develops in folded topography, alternate layers of hard and soft rocks. It is a rectangular pattern formed where the two sets of structural controls occur at the right angles. In a trellis pattern, the river forms a net-like system and the tributaries flow roughly parallel to each other. The longer streams have preference to one direction. The old folded mountains of the Chota Nagpur Plateau have the drainage of trellis pattern. Radial River Drainage Pattern It is a pattern characterized by outflowing rivers away from the central point. Analogous with the spokes of a wheel, it tends to develop in flank of the dome or a volcanic cone. A good example of radial drainage pattern is provided by the rivers originating from the Amarkantak mountain. The rivers like Narmada, Sun and Mahadadi originating from Amarkantak hill flow in different directions and are good examples of the radial pattern. This pattern is also found in the Girnar hills which is in Gujarat and Mikar hills of Assam. Pinate River Drainage Pattern Pinate pattern is developed in a narrow valley flanked by steep ranges. The tributaries originating from the steep sides of a parallel ridges join the longitudinal master consequent occupying the valley at the acute angles. The drainage network of the Narmada rivers denotes the example of the pinate drainage pattern. This pattern resembles the vein of a leaf. Parallel River Drainage Pattern the drainage pattern in which the rivers flow almost parallel to each other is known as a parallel drainage. The small and swift rivers originating in the western ghats and discharging their water into the Arabian Sea provides a good example of the parallel drainage pattern in India. Annular River Drainage Pattern In this drainage pattern, the subsequent river flows through curving and acute courses prior to joining the consequent stream. This results from a partial adaptation to an underground circular structure, a dome-like ingenious intrusion, for example, batholith. The subsequent streams find it easier to erode the concentric, less resistant strata. This is not a very common drainage pattern in India, though some examples are however found in Pithograph, for example, Uttaragand, Nilgiri Hills in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Deranged River Drainage Pattern this is an uncoordinated pattern of drainage characteristic of a region recently vacated by an ice sheet. This is probably due to the irregularities produced by glacially deposited materials, for example, came and kettle, and by the fact that there has been an insufficient time for the draining to become adjusted to the structures of the solid rock underlying the glacial drift. This type of drainage is found in the glaciated valleys of Karakonam. With this, we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Thank you.